Hi there, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. And this is my first video that's focused on creating my, your own Telegram bot using Agram Python library. So in this tutorial, in this first lesson, I'm going to show you how to create uh, your own bot on Telegram using Agram library. So all you need to do is write your comment on bot father, open bot father at first and write new bot comment. Here you need to call him somehow. For example, I'm gonna call him name, just name, I don't know. And this is unique login or username that it must end in bode and that's unique. So you need to choose your unique name, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna write unique name here. This is unique login. You need to create your own login that must end in boot. For example, it's gonna be lol 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 228 228 and boot. Oh fuck. Lol lol la 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 all right so 228 in bode so i've created a bode here you can see your api token using this token you can get access to the telegram api and control your bode you just need to copy this thing and use it later So before we get started, I just wanted to notice that your boat and your Python script is are different things. So your bot your boat is just account on Telegram, on Telegram server, which communicates with user. But your Python script it just is just script, it is just a code that gets access to the Telegram API and controls your boat. When your user writes a message or clicks on inline keyboard button, Telegram API generates a special unit that calls that's called up, update. That's called update and sends it to our Python script that we're gonna use and pro process that we're gonna process somehow in our, in our Python script. We, we're gonna also use some kind of database, for example, that's gonna be PostgreSQL or SQLite. Let's get started. So first you need to install your first you need to install Agram library. In order to do it, you need to open terminal. And here you need to use you need to activate your virtual length, your vir virtual environment environment. You need to activate your virtual environment. In my case, this is gonna be source because I have Mac, Mac OS. Because I have Mac OS, so I need to write venv uh, activate. Sorry, I need to write down venv bin activate. All right. So once I activated my venv virtual environment, I need to use pipe install command package python package manager in order to install agram library as you might have noticed as you might have already noticed requirement already satisfied because i've already installed this library and i don't need i don't have to do this but uh, you in your first time you need to do it uh, for now you need to import this agram library and here you definitely use you definitely should use if name is equal is equal main 
that's a classic idiom, idiomatic expression. That's kind of idiomatic expression in Python language. That's kind of idiomatic expression in Python language. And this is really serious. So I'm sorry, you don't need to import just Agram. It's gonna be much better if you import from from Agram, from Agram, import executor object, and then dispatcher dispatcher class dispatcher class bot object sorry bot class and types module here you need to you need to use here you need to use executor object and invoke and invoke some special method that call that's called start polling polling because we're gonna use polling method in this case. It's gonna be much simpler for us. Uh, so here we need to use dispatcher is equal to dispatcher object, but we haven't created this object. We need to create this thing. Dispatcher is equal to dispatcher class bot is equal to bot, but we didn't but we didn't create bot object either so we need to create it bot object is equal to bot class and here we need to pass our and here we need to pass our token you don't have to show your token to anyone I'm gonna show you because that's just tutorial and I can revoke this uh, anytime and I can revoke this token anytime Dispatcher is equal to dispatcher, boat is equal to boat using this talking API. So here you just need to create some kind of handler. Handler handler is gonna process your messages or some kind of updates from Telegram API. For example, when user writes a message, this message is going to be processed by using this handler. You need to use message handler here you are gonna pass I'm gonna pass here you can specify here you can specify custom filters I'm not gonna do this at this time I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you this thing a little bit later a little bit later 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 a little bit later a little bit later here you need to create a synchronous function. Here you need to define a synchronous function. It's gonna be, for example, echo boat. Here I'm gonna pass message argument. Message argument is types annotation. Uh, we're gonna use types annotation, and that's gonna and we're gonna specify that this thing is message that this thing belongs to this message class this function returns none and here we just use a wait expression and use our message object and involved method that's called answer here we just create some kind of expression for example that's gonna be our message object and text that's the text that our user sent us so that's our that's our simplest eco bot all you need to do right now let's just run your main module that's main module for me find your bot here start your bot and write some kind of expression and as you can see the bot sends back the message that you sent him so that's it for today that's my first video on this channel and that's still a little bit difficult for me to speak English but I think I'm gonna warm up on this process 
and I'm gonna make much more useful and good videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye.